Hi everybody, Ryan Horn from ryanstechtips.com. Today's video we're going to take a look at how we can duplicate a Schoology course from a previous semester or a previous school year into a new semester or new school year. So here you can see I have my fall 2021 course and it's just a skeleton of the course. There's, there's nothing in it, it's just an empty shell. Now I already have the content for this course from last year and I don't want to reinvent the wheel, I just want to import my content into here. Well, here's how you're going to do that. Step one, what we're going to do is we're going to go to resources first because we're going to create a folder to save all of the content in from our old course. So I'm going to single click resources and what I'm going to do is I'm going to single click this button right here and this is how I'm going to add a new collection. And a new collection is basically a folder that I can put course content in from previous semesters or years. So I'm gonna add a collection and I'm gonna call this one uh, 2020 Old Courses, or I can call it the name of the course, whatever works for you. And then I'm gonna press Create. Okay, so now we have our, down here, our resources, our new collection, and that's a placeholder for us. The next thing we need to do is go track down that old course so we can upload the content to the resources. So I'm gonna single click on courses. Then over on the top right, I'm gonna click my courses. And once that loads, I'm gonna single click archived. This will pull up a list of courses that are saved from previous semesters or years. So I'm going to scroll down and the course that I am looking to copy is this one right here, Creating Assessments in Schoology. So I'm going to single click the link to the course to open up that archived Schoology course. Before we do the content, if you have a specific grade setup that you used last year, perhaps use categories or calculations, you're going to want to copy that. So you can single click grade setup. And if you want to copy these settings, you can. You can single click copy settings and then you can look for that new course and you can copy the grade settings to that course. If you did not set up specific grade setups and you don't have to worry about this, you would need to press the copy button for that to take effect. Okay, so let's go back to our materials. How do we get content from our archive course into our new course? So what I'm going to do is single click options and I'm going to save this entire course to resources. Collection. Remember we created that new collection earlier so I'm going to find that by clicking the drop down arrow and that was called 2020 old courses so that's the collection I want to put it in and then I'm going to press submit. Okay so now this has been uploaded to resources. So how do I get it in my new empty shell of a course? Well, we're going to have to go back to courses because we're going to open up that empty shell of a course. Here it is. And now to add content, I'm going to go to add materials, single click add materials, and I'm going to import from resources. So single click import from resources. What I would suggest is this. Oh, I'm sorry, we need to make sure under My Resources we find our new resources that we made, 2020 old courses. And I'm gonna give you guys a hint. You don't want to just import this entire folder. You wanna save the structure of the course and import the structure of the course. So you're going to single click the content itself and here are all of the folders. Now you have a choice. You can choose to select all of the folders and import all of the folders that you would like in your course. Or if you only want certain folders to pop up, perhaps you don't want students to see access to the entire semester or year long of a Schoology content, you can select the folders that you want to import right now and then you can do this process again a couple of weeks or a couple of months from now to add more. For this demonstration, I'm going to select the entire course by selecting all of the folders and then pressing import. And I'm going to import all of these resources. And when it's done loading, you'll notice that all of the folders that I have selected 
and the Schoology resources have been added to this course. And now my templates have been imported and I am good to go. I hope that helps. Good luck.